Hello everyone, welcome to uh, the NX A to Z webinar on working with units in NX. Uh, today essentially we're going to be talking about how to change the units in NX and there's three different ways you can change the units. Uh, the first way is you can use a DOS utility to change the underlying units for a file. So if you make a file and you uh, pick units or you pick millimeters and you want it to be inches or vice versa, you can make that change uh, after you've already created geometry in the file. Um, this also applies to getting uh, files from customers and vendors. So if you get a, whether it be a parasolid step SolidWorks file or even a native NX file, if you get a file from a customer and you want to change the units, you can do that with the DOS utility. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can change the units for the NX interface. So if you have a you know a metric part, uh, but you want to do all your modeling in inches, so um, you know the input boxes for all the different features like extrude and all that, you want all that to be in inches, <coughs> you can set that up. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and that also carries over to the drawing. So if you set the NX interface up to be inches for a metric part, then when you make a drawing, the dimensions will come out in inches instead of millimeters. And then the third way is you can just change the dimensions on a drawing. So if you have a metric part, um, you do all your modeling in, in millimeters, you make the drawing, and then you want to convert the dimensions on the drawing from millimeters to inches, you can do that. Okay, so first we're going to talk about converting a file. Um, so, like I said, it's a DOS utility that comes with an X, and you can use the regular Windows DOS prompt to run it, but it's a lot easier to use the NX DOS prompt because with the NX DOS prompt, it doesn't matter what directory you're in within the DOS prompt, you can run the conversion utility. Um, with the Windows DOS prompt, you have to be in the UGII folder to run it. Um, so the first thing to do is open up the NX DOS prompt, and then you want to navigate to the directory where the files are located. This isn't required. Um, you can put the directory in as a parameter for the conversion program, but it's more difficult to do it that way. So we're going to do a little bit of uh, DOS directory stuff here. Um, so if you want to change the drive letter, just hit the letter and then a colon, and that will change the drive letter. Uh, my files are on the C drive. CD is change directory, and backslash will get you to the root. So CD backslash gets, to, gets me to the root of the C drive. And then I just type in CD and then the directory name a couple of times to get to where my files are. And then DIR will list the contents of a, of a directory. So this is the directory I'm working in. These files are all from a Cam Express tutorial. Um, the conversion utility is called UG Convert Part. And if you just punch in UG Convert Part, you get instructions on how to use it. So essentially there's just a few parameters that you need to pass to the program. Um, most of them are optional. The first two are not. So this file is one of the files in that folder and it is in millimeters. So if I want to convert this to inches I just type in UG Convert Part dash in and then the name of the file now the DOS utility will open that file convert the units so opening the file converting conversion success saving so now if I close this open it back up Now it is in inches. Okay, so the next thing, there's just a couple of other options I want to show you with this. Um, you convert an you can convert an entire directory at once, and if you just type in UG convert part, the units that you want, and dash D, it will convert every file in the active directory to whatever units you specified. <coughs> 
Okay, so no conversion was required for the first file. Oh, apparently no conversion was required for any of the files. Let's try that again. Okay, so now it's going through and converting all of the files in that directory. <coughs> There's another parameter you can pass that will tell it to convert all the files in the current directory and all subdirectories. So if you have an assembly that is split up into a bunch of subdirectories, um, the dash s will go through all the subdirectories. So you just type in the same thing that we just did, except you just put a dash s on the end. And now this will do the files in the current directory and all subdirectories. And another neat little one is if you do dash y, let's see, what did I convert them to? Okay, so right now they're all metrics. So if I do dash i n, now this is going to convert the five axis part, but because the five axis part is an assembly, it's also going to bind the components and convert those as well. And if there were sub assemblies, it would find those. So it's going to open the five axis part and it's going to see what the components are regardless of what directory they're in and it's going to convert them. So if you have an assembly and you don't have you know all of your components underneath the directory of the uh, assembly file you can use that dash y to find all the files and convert them. Um, and there's a couple other options, so uh, you can pull out the expressions, convert UDF files, um, and then, like I said, you don't have to be in the directory where the files are. You can actually type that in um, as a parameter. So if I just wanted to do If I wasn't in the in this directory, I could just punch that in from any directory, and then it would go out there and get that. Um, and if you wanted to do an entire directory, you would just do this, and then that would convert all of the files. Oops, I forgot the units. So that would convert all of the files in that directory. Okay. So that's pretty much it for the uh, unit conversion utility. <coughs> okay, I'm gonna open this back up because I don't know what the units are. I'm gonna open up one of these components so it'll be a little easier to work with. I don't think there's any geometry in the parent. Um, okay, so now we're going to talk about how to change the units of the NX interface, which essentially, in terms of interacting with a file within NX, um, changing the units of the interface pretty much does the same thing as changing the, uh, the units for a file. Um, so right now, this file is inches, so obviously if we measure something come out in inches and if we well see these values are in millimeters so this part must have started out as a millimeters part um, so if I go up to analysis go down to units and set this to kilogram millimeter and 
now my measurements are in millimeters. And um, this is still in millimeters. So go back to this, change it to pound inch. And now if I create a new See now my distance here, the default unit is inches. So it doesn't change existing features, but it will um, set the default for any new features. Go back to millimeters. Now I've got millimeters here. And in the information window as well. Uh, so if you just object information. We got millimeters here, so change it back to inches. And inches. Okay, now I'm in inches. It's a metric. <laughs> okay, it's an inch part, so let's change this to millimeters. And if I make a drawing, I get millimeters. Okay, so <clears throat> now if you wanted to change dimensions after the fact, after they were already on the drawing, say you've got your part done, you've got your drawing done, but you want to change the units after the fact, um, you can just right click any of the units, or I'm sorry, any of the dimensions, go into style, and there is an option for units, you can change that to inches, and then this allows you to convert a tolerance value, so let's uh, Put a tolerance value on here. Um, that's in here. So we'll do that. And then style. So if I change this to inches and convert the tolerance, <coughs> then I have to. So it was 0.1 millimeters, and then I converted it to 0 0.005 inches. So if you convert the units for a dimension without converting the tolerance, it would have been 0.1. So 7244 plus or minus 0.1 inches, which obviously is not even close to 0.1 millimeters. <coughs> okay, so just one other quick little trick here. Um, if you just want to change all the dimensions, All you got to do is set the selection filter to dimension. Uh, hit Control A, right click on any one of them, and change the units. And that will get all of them at once. <coughs> and that applies for any sort of style change. You can just set the filter to dimension and do Control A, right click one of them, and set the style for all of them at once. Okay, so once you, once you have set the uh, units and created a drawing and a file, then going up to analysis and changing the units doesn't affect the drawing anymore or any future drawings. Um, the way you control dimensions going forward once you've created a drawing is you go into the preferences annotation window and you can set the default units here. So uh, we've got millimeters. Um, so new dimensions come out in millimeters. And then we can just change this to inches. Okay, so you can switch back and forth between units as you're creating drawings um, 
or you can just convert them all after the fact. You can create a drawing, make a copy of it, and select all the units and convert them so you can have a you know metric in inches. <laughs> um, you can also include metric units, uh, dual dimension, so you can do that kind of stuff as well. So, all right, so that's it for uh, working with units in an X. Um, I hope you learned something and. I will see you next time.